What's going on guys? Thanks for stopping by. I gotta jump right into it. I don't know what's going on in here. I'm missing some... Four fish. Four fish have gone missing and I can't explain it. In the past when I've had fish go missing I've rather seen them on the floor or found them in the tank and then just pulled them out but I've lost all my clown fish. Uh, you may remember I had a pair of clowns, a bigger, older one, and then, a, and then a smaller one. And he was starting to host. He was lying sideways on the clam. And then all of a sudden, he goes missing. So I look, I look, I look around the tank. I can't find him. Where'd he go? I don't know. And then all of a sudden, his little side partner went missing. And... And I, I'm looking for the bodies everywhere. Still can't find them. Week goes on. Head to JL, buy another clownfish. That goes missing. Something. Like, what? One of these fish has a hate on for clowns. Like something's going on here. Then I noticed one of these red fire fish went missing too. So I, I, my only guess is it's these this crew under here because I, I have an algae bloom and it's mainly around this rock i pulled most of it out so and under here is the goby and the, and the pistol shrimp and i read the pistol shrimp can be aggressive towards smaller fish but i it doesn't make sense but he may have pulled the bodies under there because all he does is dig all day and night but i don't know if anybody else has any explanations just let me know, because that's four fish now that have disappeared and no signs of bodies anywhere. So obviously I've, I've, I'm not buying any more fish. I'm going to let things even out, get rid of the algae. Here's some, see if you can see this better. I basically upped the no-pox, turned my skimmer wetter. And I'm dosing Vibrant, because I noticed some bubble algae starting on a couple corals I purchased. Because I didn't quarantine long enough, I didn't see that. It just showed up on the bottom of the frag. It's white now, you see those bubbles. It was green and then the vibrant, it seems to be working and killing it. But now the, the hair algae is popping off, so I don't know. And also, just a little fun fact, I installed this the auto feeder up here. And I, I purchased the, uh, the Red Sea cutout kit for... For that but and then realize that it's such a little amount that all you really need to do is just cut a little chunk off the st stock frame the net frame and it'll fit perfectly so no need for any cutouts there and then it, the pellets will fall right through into the ring and that works works great but I just had to share these 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 fish I don't know, we got some David Blaine stuff going on in here. So, if I figure it out, I'll update you. I'll also talk about my dosing pump. I got a couple heads I got to replace, but that'll be on the next one. So, thanks for stopping by. Until next time, bye for now.